Hello and welcome. This is Andrew from Guitar Tone Pro. We're taking a look at the blooper. Uh, and also, as you can see now, my new board. Uh, this is a pedal board I built myself, two layers. We'll take a deeper look at it some other time. Uh, but as you can see, it is pretty much all Chase Bliss audio. Um, they've really nailed it out of the park on a lot of pedals, so I decided to build a whole board just of their pedals, um, minus a tuner and some MIDI. Uh, but today is about the blooper. Now, everybody has seen that it is full of creative options. There's a ton of things you can do with it. Um, but can you use it as a regular blooper? So uh, I think we're going to take a, a little look at it. We'll go through some looping examples, how you can do a little bit of pitch shifting to get some actual uh, bass out of it, uh, some of the, some of the uh, drawbacks that you have to kind of think ahead for, and then uh, we'll also take a look at using it as a pretty awesome delay. So uh, no more waiting, here we go. This is the blooper. All right, so first let's take a quick look at how to, um, how to pitch shift. So typically when you use a looper pedal, uh, one of the nice things you can do is slow it down to get you bass notes. So let's, uh, let's give that a quick try. So as you can see, it's uh, slowed it down, dropped it a whole octave. Um, but now when I hold down the trigger key, I can do a single shot, um, which will take that effect and bake it into the loop. Um, but something that most people won't expect is probably going to happen. Let's take a quick look. So what happened there is that the, uh, the length of the loop stayed the same. So now that we've slowed everything down to half speed, you only get half the loop. Um, this is a little counterintuitive, but it's easy to work around. Basically, all you got to do is if you're going to do this, start with your bass loop and play it through twice. And then when you slow it down, you only get one loop out of it, but at least you'll get the full loop. Thank you. 
So it's just a quick loop. Um, pretty terrible, but you know, you have uh, eight levels of redo, undo uh, by turning the center knob. Uh, gives you a nice, nice way to step back or step up through it. Um, as a straight forward looper, it can do a lot of cool things. Um, but really, I mean, it's all about being a creative looper. So we'll take a look at that in another time. But first, let's take another quick look at using it as a delay. Um, this is one of the coolest things, I think, that this looper can do. Um, there's other loopers that can do it. Um, the old Pictronics one was able to do it, but at a very less musical way. Um, so this repeat knob really uh, really gives you a lot of coolness. So the way it works is basically you hit the, um, you leave it in additive mode so that every loop records itself on top of it. Um, so you hit record, you hit play, and then you hit overdub. And when you're overdubbing, it's going to keep dropping the level lower and lower like a delay. Um, but then you can play with all the extra effects and stuff and make it a reverse delay and a fading delay and a dropping delay. So let's, uh, let's play around with it for a little bit and uh, see how it goes.
So that's just a quick, uh, quick overview of the blooper. Um, it's an awesome pedal. There's a lot to it and you can plug it in. You can change stuff. Um, they're always updating the firmware. Um, check out Knobs' demos and uh, check back later here as we go through the rest of these pedals. Thanks very much.